Hello everybody, my name is Ben, part of the Chemical Apes team and welcome again to Subnautica. So for this guide, we're going to be looking at the sea treaders. What are they? What can they do? Um, and the results are really, really positive. So I'm going to take you there right now. Where do we need to go? Where do we need to start from? As always, the centre of the map, which is the coral tubes closest to the Aurora. Uh, there's another set which I believe is over there. It's not those, it's the ones closest to the Aurora, as mentioned. Now, that, what, what it does, this, starting from this point, it allows me to give you exact distance and direction. If you start 200 meters over there, or you should I say spawn over 200 meters over there with the light pod, then it's gonna be slightly out. So I always recommend starting from one point. Okay, so where do we need to go? We need to go right in the center between southwest and west, and we're gonna be going 350 meters. We're gonna be doing this in the CMOF with depth module mark two. Uh, if you've got anything above that, then great. And as I mentioned before, with the center of the map, I always recommend leaving a, a beacon there labeling its starting point whatever you want to do uh, just so we can look back and say right okay i'm 1400 meters away from that starting point whatever it may be okay so let's go um so in terms of what we're going to find down here we are entering the grand reef now there are two spawn locations for the ghost leviathan and we're reasonably close to them uh give or take uh, what I recommend you do is, if you go into a ghost leviathan, just run, go, just keep on going. Uh, try and elevate and try and dip down. Try and don't don't try and take them head on. Um, they will, they are fast, and what they will do typically is a wipe away with one bite. They wipe away 50% of the energy, uh, well, health from the, the actual seam off. So it's quite substantial. So on that note, what I would recommend is bringing a repair tool. Uh, typically, they don't get two attacks in, two bites in. Um, if they do, you are unlucky. Um, so that way you can sort of repair it. Oh, there we go, I thought I heard it. Yeah, there's the first ghost leviathan. So just keep clear of these guys. And like I say, you know, once you've been, if you, if you have been attacked, you can repair it. Uh, just get, get, get out of the way, get to that location as fast as possible. So in terms of what else we're going to find down here, uh, typically warpers, and that's pretty much it, really. The Grand Reef is a very, very resource heavy uh, biome, indeed. Now, what we want to be doing is keeping above 350 meters, we don't want to really be delving any lower than that. And as I mentioned, it's 1,600 metres from the centre, from the actual starting point. So if we check our location, we've left the beacon, all is good. So 1,200, so another 400 to go. Now, keep that south, south, southwest position. Uh, if there are peaks, just elevate as opposed to go below don't go below you'll find yourself in caverns and all sorts so if need be go above the 300 mark uh, apart from in terms of what else you may need a uh, high capacity tank ultra high capacity tank if you've got it fabulous so we are now around 1500 15 meters away and what this is is the sea treaders path so it's one big big sandy road if you like and there we go guys sea treaders now they do spawn along this path this path goes on for quite some time uh, if you just follow it round you will eventually come to them if they don't spawn in this particular location and there's just one on his own at the moment if you go this way you may find even more um, now there's quite a few perks with these guys uh, one you may know about already is the alien feces crap. So you can use that in the bio uh, bioreactor. It gives masses of energy. Uh, it's a real good one. 
Now, the other one that is a real, real big perk, and it is a real good one, is what's happening here? Can you see what's going on? They are literally spawning shale as they're stomping up. So for every stomp they take, it brings up shale. And what we're getting, a lot of resource, diamond, lithium, and gold. And that is it, guys. That is the big one. So as I mentioned, it's it's a real, real overlooked perk of the sea treaders. Um, and it is just in infinity of resource. So hope you like the video, guys. Subscribe, like, comment. All is good. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.